Good afternoon. You're watching The Daily Beat here on I-24 News. I'm Michal Divon, and these are your headlines. An Israeli parole board will rule today on the fate of ex-president Moshe Katsav, convicted of rape and other sexual offenses. More prominent Republicans say they will vote against Donald Trump. And a knife attack in central London leaves one woman dead and five injured. Well, good afternoon. A parole board is set to rule on the fate of Israel's ex-president Moshe Katsab, who is serving time in prison for rape and other offenses. Following a new opinion submitted by the Prisoner Rehabilitation Authority, the Prison Service Parole Board is to decide today whether to commute his sentence of seven years. Israel's former president, who has never admitted to offenses or expressed remorse for his actions, is said to have changed his tone recently. And I'm joined in studio by uh, Amir Oren, senior political analyst for Haaretz, and defense correspondent, senior defense correspondent Shai Benari. But first, we're going to go live to Eli Hochenberg, who's standing by uh, at the Masyaw prison in central Israel. Eli, good afternoon. What are we expecting and when is a decision to be announced? Yes, Michal, well, the parole board uh, started uh, its discussion on whether to release, uh, to reduce the sentence of uh, former Israeli uh, President Moshe Kantav, uh, convicted in rape after serving two-thirds of his uh, jail time. It is far from being the first time the parole board is uh, dealing with uh, Kantav's uh, appeal. It was only last April when the uh, board rejected uh, his appeal on the grounds of him showing no regret, nor empathy towards the victims, not taking any responsibility for his actions and perhaps more than anything else, uh, else, having a profound uh, sense of victimhood uh, uh, in this uh, throughout uh, this uh, process. But uh, the board was asked by the court to rediscuss uh, this issue after a new uh, uh, opinion by the Rehabilitation uh, uh, Authority was submitted, saying there is sort of a breakthrough vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis, uh, Katsav's uh, remorse uh, on his uh, on his actions. Uh, the discussion is uh, expected to take a couple of hours, but even if the board Board is to decide if Katsav will be released. It will not happen today because the state attorney uh, is likely to appeal uh, such a sentence. We will, of course, keep you updated, but perhaps uh, a major day uh, for the Israeli uh, legal system and, uh, and a huge uh, public discourse surrounding uh, this, uh, this appeal. As said, we will keep you updated. Eli, thank you. And as you mentioned, uh, he has not taken any responsibility, but the tone has been changed. How so, if we know? <laughs> Yes, well, uh, Katav has been uh, has been discussing with the uh, rehabilitation uh, center, has having sessions with the rehabilitation uh, as, uh, authority for a long while now, and so far nothing has changed. But uh, his legal team uh, explained him that uh, if he will not show any remorse or any uh, regret uh, over his actions, nothing uh, could be uh, could be changed. So it uh, it is maybe a strategic uh, uh, change on behalf of Katav, and maybe a genuine uh, process. In any case, the rehabilitation. Authority uh, says that uh, according to his uh, to his new uh, statements, uh, uh, he's uh, he can uh, go through a rehabilitation process outside uh, his uh, prison cell, and this is uh, if the, the the board will decide to release him. That will be the main reason for that. But uh, again, the public discourse over this appeal has uh, gained a lot of uh, traction uh, recently, as uh, as uh, people, as Israelis, uh, feel very upset that uh, a prisoner, an ex president, that has shown no regret regret over such, uh, you know, horrific and, and severe actions could be released. So unless a major breakthrough, again, uh, during his assessment will be presented, the, uh, the board is unlikely uh, to, uh, to, set, uh, to set his release. Eli Hochenberg, we'll leave it on that note. Thanks for now. And bringing the discussion back to studio, what are the main points of contention today, Amir? Well, um, as distinct from uh, court uh, dates where the uh, judges, usually, of course, it's a, a three-judge panel, when they convene in the morning to hand down their sentences or the verdicts, of course, it's already been set. 
and uh, they only issue it uh, at the same time. Here, apparently, the parole board is still discussing, and perhaps there are majority and minority views. And it has to do with the fact that not only did Katsav uh, ever, never uh, shown remorse, as uh, the report said, but he has lashed out at his accusers. And if he stands any chance of being uh, let off with this uh, one-third, he must um, uh, certify in writing that he now understands that the accusers at least um, acted out of their own sincere perception that he has committed uh, his crime. Now, why is this uh, issue so contentious in Israeli society? You have here a major politician a senior member of the Likud party, which is still the ruling party, of oriental extraction, you have sex offenses, and you have the uh, possibility that uh, women's advocacy groups will not abide by a decision to uh, release Katsav, and in addition to the state attorney, will also appeal uh, this sentence. And had Katsav been a model prisoner, along with the admission of guilt, there wouldn't have been no uh, problem here. But because he is so obstinate and he refuses to budge even one inch, um, he is still in trouble. We can definitely expect uh, f feminist groups to oppose if he is uh, granted leave. Do you think he's receiving any special treatment because of his status and, and consideration of his age, uh, Shai, if you want to weigh in? Uh, I, I'm not sure that's the case. I, I, I tend to think that the, the, the judges will decide otherwise. Uh, there, that is perhaps the, the calls coming from certain sections of the public. But I think uh, when you talk about the sim symbolism of, of uh, Mr. Katsav as the former Israeli president, I think there's value to be gained in, in making an example out of him. As harsh as the case may be, I think uh, we need to ho hold our public figures, especially the people who actually stand at the head of the state, let's say. Uh, uh, we, we should hold them to higher standards. And, I mean, has he changed his tone? No, no, he has not really. Perhaps his uh, lawyers um, are trying to portray him as having softened uh, his tone. But the, the uh, whole idea behind this early release is a show of compassion to the prisoner. But the prisoner who himself has shown no compassion to his victims, this cannot be uh, the case to which the uh, parole board usually refers. And indeed, a big test for the judicial system in Israel today. Right. We'll wait to see what comes out on this very crucial.